prologue. The presidential suite of the Hotel Texas is seen in dark shadows behind a scrim. A projection of a short film loop showing a joyful glance between President Jack and First Lady Jackie as they drive their motorcade through Dallas gets larger and larger with every repeat. It is hypnotic. Superimposed on the video is a title card that reads, on November 22nd, 1963, President John Fitzgerald Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. This is not that story. As the image takes over the stage, Clara, a black housekeeper, walks the hallway with her maid's trolley, while Rathbone, a Secret Service advance man, takes his position outside the door. The set is based in reality, but is not realist. The presence of surrealism is hinted at from the start. An offstage chorus sings, the universe holds the many threads. Lives are spun, stories coiled, intersecting, tightly wound, concealing dreams. November 22nd, 1963. The three fates conspire, ready for the task. The spinner spins, the allotter measures, the cutter cuts. We await the fate shears, when a life sits collected full on its spindle. With every breath, we inhale debris, flecks of history, our destiny, a mighty masonry hidden in the mortar. November 22nd, 1963. I really love the exploration of psychology. And so the, the, the idea that there is a figure like JFK who is so beloved and, and people feel like they know him. He's, he's this, um, he's so familiar to so many people. I, I'm given the great opportunity to walk in his shoes and to, to attempt to understand just what, what he was feeling and, and the, his general um, sensibility at that time. Most people don't know that, that JFK was going through great physical pain um, and that he was heavily reliant on, on drugs, amphetamines, codeine, barbiturates to, to just get him through the day. And he wore a back brace that, that held him together. And this piece uh, really explores the, the sort of contradiction of a man who was so physically fragile and held together, but was a symbol of great hope and, and resilience and, and that he was able to lead the country through this very tumultuous time, even in the face of his own um, physical suffering. Let every nation know, whether it wishes us well or ill, that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe to assure the survival and the success of liberty. We were very careful not to get to the assassination. That, that the piece is not about the bullets that took JFK from the world. And this opera, I was more excited to find um, a, a, a rich humanity about Jack. Uh, and and to explore his relationship with Jackie and his uh, the feelings th towards his family and him as a father, him as a son, him as a brother, him as a husband. One of the big influences and, and a moment when I felt like I really cracked open something in the piece was when I received the catalog for the Hotel Texas exhibit at the Eamon Carter Museum. Looking at these beautiful, beautiful um, pieces of art that were curated by Ruth Carter Stevenson. She was collecting them from different locations in Fort Worth and bringing them to the Hotel Texas because there's a great artistic tradition in Fort Worth and Jack and Jackie just didn't have the time to go and explore a museum. To, they didn't have time to take in the, the great gifts that the city holds. Ruth decided that she would bring the art to the hotel so that they had their own sort of private exhibit. And so looking at the catalog and seeing these really, really gorgeous works, um, it broke the piece open for me because I, I wanted them to inform the way that Jack 
and Jackie uh, experienced the room, the space at the Hotel Texas. Um, and so these paintings animate throughout the piece and become portals for them to explore their dreams, um, which is something that the piece has become, a, a, a psychological exploration of, of dreamscapes. Uh, because a lot of the time that Jack and Jackie spent in Fort Worth was spent sleeping. And so not only do dreams have the opportunity for great theatricality, but they allow us to, uh, to go places that, that we might not be able to go in, in the, if we're just looking at a, a very straight ahead drama about their visit to, to Texas. So really, the, the piece takes place entirely within the Hotel Texas, um, but there are these sojourns to the moon and, uh, and there are ways in which the, the hotel becomes something much more vivid and, uh, and imaginative than a hotel suite. To live is to tally the losses. To live is to archive the pain, pausing every once in a pale moon to remember things as they were, to assemble the last words of loved ones like the gospel. Rathbone hands Jack the phone. He dials. Rathbone leaves to give Jack privacy. Jack on the phone sings, Hello, Dad. It's Jack. Calling from Texas. Dallas next. Just wanted to hear you breathe. To hear you breathe. Jack sits on the phone while the choir sings. <laughs>